Hi there, Casey and Jen here with another Fusion video. Today we're going to be talking about release work and we're going to be talking about all of the different points on your face and your head you can hit with either the small tennis ball or the green spiky ball to help release the tension around the skull. Now a lot of people don't really think about this except for when they're massaging their scalp, when they're washing their hair, but just like anywhere else in your body, your face and your head are full, is full of musculature. Also, you know, everyone thinks that their skull is just comes in, in one little block, but actually there are many different plates in the head that come together and they call those areas sutures in the skull. Now, the sutures are really important for us, so if we bump our head, it allows for a little bit of give in the bone structure for swelling. Now, if we have habitual facial patterns, our facial movement patterns, or even neck tension and back tension, what can happen is even one side of the face can have constant pain and pressure. Um, our clients with TMJ know all about this, as well as our teeth grinders, our grippers. So these points are phenomenal for not just facial pain, but neck and shoulder pain, because you know we're one body. We're not just little pieces. So first things first is we'll take the little green spiky ball. Now, this can be very invigorating. So this is actually a really nice way to start out a class. And what you can do is just take it and roll it over the forehead mm -hmm, and into the temples. And you can do soft little circles. And we're doing a pretty light touch because your yeah. face is nice and sensitive. But definitely paying attention to going into the jaw area, down, in through, yeah, the bottom of the jaw. Our jaw muscles are such powerful grip musculature, that's the way that they're designed to be, but unfortunately it can be extremely, extremely high place of tension. The other place that you want to get is underneath the cheekbones. There's lots of musculature that goes down into the lower jaw from here. Yeah, that feels really good. It feels really good to get into these spots. You can also go into SCM here and down the neck. Mm -hmm. And then another place that you can go into, I have bobby pins on the top of my head, but you can actually put this at the top of your head and roll it around. Now, this might get your hair a little crazy, but all of these points at the top of your head, you have these little divots at the top. If you've ever had a facial, they usually press down and into it. And it is such wonderful pressure release, but it can be very invigorating, the top of the head points, right? Also in acupressure, the meridians come and converge at the top of the head. So all of the acupuncture meridians cascade down from there. So this is a really nice place to open up and innervate. Now we're gonna switch to our precision little guy. So there's a couple places I definitely wanna show you, and this is the perfect size to get into the face, facial crevices. So you're gonna take the ball and you're gonna put it right between the bridge of the nose and the eyebrow. And what you do is you hold it and then you press your head into it. And then you can go out to the side and follow it all the way along the bridge of the eyebrow underneath that bone. And you can go even out into the temple very important, and you can find spots and just rest onto it. Now, another place you can hit is the bridge of the cheekbone. This is a really important place. You start at where the ear canal comes out right through here, and you can start to roll down a little bit into the jaw, very important. Oh. Yep, you gotta have a slack open jaw here. But then you can press the ball in underneath the bone of the cheek and up into it. Mm -hmm. So you get into the fleshy part underneath and then you press up and go all the way to the nose, which are some really great sinus points. Mm -hmm. Very, very powerful. Mm -hmm. Here where we just wore that lymphatic. Yes, and there's yeah, drainage yeah, drainage. yeah. huge yeah. lymphatic drainage. 30% of your lymph drainage Ooh. is in your head and your neck, in your whole body. It's so important to open up this system so that we can move more easily and hopefully have some headaches that go away. I have to do this side. It's exactly. So <laughs> it's so true. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We hope you try this out and we'll see you soon. Thanks.